advertising which promises no benefit to the customer does not sell. David Ogilvy Knowing and stating the benefit of your video or blog post is the only thing that will get it read. While the audience does not pay money to read your content, they pay with time. So make sure that they know what they're, quote, buying straight from the headline. And maybe even more important, that you know it. For example, this piece of content is about five marketing practices to apply in your content. That is my promise. This principle is the most important thing in the whole book, says Ogilvy. If you were to remember only one thing from the book, that would be it. Principle one is state the benefit of the product. Note, no fish were harmed during the creation of this animation video. The headline is read by nine times more people than body text. And so, its purpose is to quote, hook the audience. It's an understatement to say that it will make or break your content. Here are three principles from the book to catch some fish. Um, audience. One, describe helpful and useful information with real life value. Two, include the name of the product if there is any. Three, be specific. Something like five principles of advertising is better than something vague like advertising suggestions. Principle two is make a hooking headline. If it doesn't sell, it isn't creative. A Benton and Bowles advertising principle. This statement is problematic for us as content creators for two reasons. One reason is that it takes lots of time to create organic engagement. Another reason is that you may have no product. For these reasons, how do you know if it, quote, sells? Well, since Ogilvy was an advertising man, we'll focus on the first problem. My suggestion to you is this. Have a paid ad and determine how good it is by the CTR, or, in other words, the percentage of people who click on it. Then. Use this metric to A-B test and increase your performance. A few variables you could test are the headline, thumbnail, subheading, and different audiences. Now let's shortly address the second problem. To determine how good your content and not the ad is, one option on platforms which allow it like for example YouTube or Facebook is to determine how quote shareable it is by dividing its share count by its view count. The larger the result, the better, quote-unquote, the content is. Shareable content is the number one way to grow quickly and keep fans engaged, says author Brendan Kane in his book One Million Followers. Principle three is stop guessing, start measuring. A picture is worth a thousand words. Anonymous. The purpose of the illustration is similar to that of the headline. Hooking the audience. Here are three practices for a hooking illustration. Practice 1. Evoke curiosity. Get the reader to ask himself, what is this about? And read the body copy to find out. Practice 2. Before and After Images In a study of 70 campaigns, there was not a single one that didn't increase sales when it used transformation images. Practice 3. Familiar Characters The use of characters from your show in the illustration boosts recall. Principle 4 is use awesome illustrations.
Could you create an image of your audience using your content? Something that will trigger them wanting to use it in the correct situation? For example, on his YouTube channel background, Rick Kettner says, Discover the best marketing books. Meaning that when you want to read a book but have no idea which, you should hop on the channel. I, on the other hand, say that after doing your research, you may come to the channel, and if you saw a book you've already been thinking to purchase, you may check out my summary and decide if you want to read the whole book or whether just the summary is enough for you. Stating how to use your content will give clarity. And clarity is essential, because if you confuse, you lose, says Donald Miller, the author of Building a Story Brand. That said, I may add or not add the usage as Rick meant it to my about page. But the key is to start with something, and we may change or update it along the way. Principle 5 is create an image of using the product. This was my interpretation of five of the principles from the book Ogilvy on Advertising. I'd love to hear if you were able to apply these principles in the comments. Thank you for watching Improvementers, and as David Goggins says, stay hard.